that's been going on for years since I moved to Amherst during 2006, but for which it has taken me a very long time to identify the source and exhaust attempts for help from a number of people who I thought might offer assistance. Eversource, my electric supplier, refuses to work with me in exchanging the AMR to a meter that does not emit radio frequencies. I have a significant issue with radio and electromagnetic frequencies. Basically, I have what's been termed electromagnetic hypersensitivity, though all of us are affected by this radiation. My exposure has been affecting my health and well-being in numerous ways since I moved to that house in Amherst. Previous to this, when I lived in Newton without an RF meter, I was very healthy. Most recently, I've been diagnosed with small fiber polyneuropathy from a skin culture and other tests completed by a well-respected Boston neurologist at Brigham Women's Hospital. After many tests, there is no source identified. Many other systems in my body, including endocrine, calcium regulation, kidney abnormalities, including calcium stones, heart and endocrine have disruptions. I've had numerous, including a very good team, of Brigham Women's Hospital doctors stumped. These issues have been showing up more and more as time passes. I have letters from three of these MDs including a cardiologist, again at Brigham Women's Hospital in Boston, and a PCP that attest to my health issues, suspecting that they stem from these exposures and requesting that my utility companies work to replace these meters with non-RF meters. Some of my daily symptoms range from very bad sleep quality and duration, nighttime arrhythmias, and I did wear a monitor, high-pitched buzzing sounds, changes in vision, fatigue, and concentration issues. Basically, I have trouble getting anything done because I often feel foggy and in distress. I've also noted that there's a problem with my electric quality I have in this house for various reasons, including all and some more than once. My brand new appliance is breaking within five years of moving there. This, the flickering lights, never happened in other houses in which I lived. I hired a commercial electric company to monitor my electric wires for two weeks with a fluke meter attached to my circuit breaker box. They found significant amounts of high frequency disturbances on my house wiring. I'm told that these peaks and trials have the effect of increasing billing rates as they affect the formula the electric company uses for determining customer billing. This is most likely caused by the RF meter introducing harmonics into the house wiring and changing what should be a regular sine wave. Eversource again offered no assistance. Then I hired a building biologist to perform tests on my house for purposes of remediation, at least anything we could do. He provided the following link, which you will get in this report, uh, a YouTube of Eversource's meter on the side of my house. Please watch it and see how often it emits RF, radio frequency, into my house wiring and the environment, including penetrating over a mile in order to transmit to their closest facility. This I was told by an Eversource representative. Another representative from Eversource tried to tell me that the meter only transmitted infrequently. This, of course, is false information, as you'll see from the video. In other parts of Massachusetts, National Grid allows an RF opt-out program based on guidelines laid out from a court ruling brought by the Attorney General's office. I'm willing to pay those fees and have expressed this to Eversource, but they continue to refuse to help me. The Massachusetts Attorney General's office told me it is their option. We need legislation that will protect all of us, including, of course, our children, who are even more sensitive. The amount of wireless they're exposed to all day in school has skyrocketed, and I fear for our developing minds in the United States. Many are addicted to RF technology, and we need to break this trend, or society will suffer horrendously. Of this, I'm certain. Thank you very much for your time and consideration, and please don't hesitate to contact me if I can provide further information, but you will get the doctor's notes and you will get my testimony.